Uh, yes, <laughs> it was like this that uh, uh, the delegation, yeah, the delegation traveled to United States of America. They got themselves tickets, free tickets again. Uh, I think it was maybe the New York precinct. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one in the U.S. where it would be all kinds of people. Black people insisted me, me, I don't even enter inside of the police building, don't you know that? You're not supposed to uh, record inside and then me, and you know, me, me, me. A psychiatrist Peter Kapstuk initiative, it was a big deal, it was a big deal, because when I was inside of this police station, they had me jocked up, it would be standing me next to the door and I would observe this and I would approach to him and so on and uh, this cretin maybe he was maybe this incident took place on some 20 occasions at least but possible is even on 30 occasions that they rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed among other, I have seen psychiatrist Peter Kapsch having a big problem standing up. He said, if you would do this, you would already do good. Uh, they have funny chairs and tables. Uh, they're not as comfortable with this. I mean, this goes at least up to, um, it goes, you know, like uh, beyond the knee. Uh, but psychiatrist cop, she's even taller than myself, and I am six. And so what he would do is, he would sit like this, you know, he would sit like this. But the thing about it is the table comes uh, like this, you know, uh, very low. It comes very, very low. Actually, I made a video recording of the premises uh, before this procedure even took place. And so I was lucky enough to... to to just go randomly to make this video recording. So, I mean, this is cute. This is nice. So, um, very, very low desk. Uh, and he said to me, if you would figure out uh, with this, um, actually, you know, I am wrong. The table comes about exactly like this, just enough so that uh, the table goes across because they insisted to me they're going to grab me without my even having the ability to stand up that is, I'm going to push even the tables and stuff like this when I'm going to try to stand up. This was the brainwash during MK Ultra. I am mistaken. The table is just over. Yeah. And so when he seated with this stuff, he suggested me, you're going to already do good if you will sit away from the table like you know, like if this is the table here uh, and so that with your knee, you're going to have like a little distance so that at least you can stand up rather than really. I mean, uh, the tables are done uh, still the same table, says Doreen MK Ultra. They're done in a such a way so that when you would when you would extend your your leg, you would actually lift, uh, you know, if it would be in a hurry or something like that, you would actually uh, kick the table. These people did this shit on me at the, this police station for at least 30 occasions. Not 20. I am stupid. It was not 20. When I think about these details and the, these details, the further I think about it, the more these details open about the crime. And so, uh, me personally, I naturally didn't feel I looked at it and I recall this issue also about the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch who had a problem with this stuff. So what I did was I sat like that, you know, uh, away from this table. Uh, once uh, the investigator went inside, but before that I did, I, I, I had legs like this fully inside. It's a video recording that who stated me, uh, they have, and I informed them that I will require to furnish me with a video recording about this crime. Um, they assured me they have this video recording. All through the Rian MK Ultra, they claimed me it will depend on me how I will behave. 
uh, so that if I will not behave good, there will be only part of it and saying, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, there will not be the whole thing, la, 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 stuff like that. Um, so, uh, for me to say, they were, they wanted to create like, they were creating anxiety during MKUltra about how they're going to come and if you're not going to be uh, prepared with this issue, uh, what's going to happen is it's just going to grab you. Uh, and so, uh, so basically, so it happened. But what's interesting, what I need to accent is, it was a psychiatrist Peter Kopf who had me observe the whole thing to make what he insisted was to, to put a pressure on the police officers whom he used today for his operation, for his... Uh, we have to find out. Macron was involved in this. Schultz was involved in this. European Union politicians were involved in it. Joe Biden was involved in it. Uh, American politicians were involved in this crime. American police was involved in this crime. We have to find out about... Because why? Because this was a main reason why I didn't want to be in Yugoslavia. I didn't want to be inside of the prison. We ran prison on open during Yugoslavia. In Yugoslavia, they could fucking kill you inside of the police station. Nobody can do anything about it. If this is what European, if this is what applies to European Union, uh, I'm not going to say that we need to get the fuck out of European Union, but we need to get the fuck out these politicians from European Union. Because, you know, you have the right, you have the rights, your basic right, basically, when you enter such institution is to have audio recorder at least on for your own protection. You're not carrying, every police officer carries cameras, they all have body cams, and your right, your sole right is to have audio recorder on, that's one of the things. Um... When he rehearsed this crime with his police officers, they were assuring him they will know how to do it. They will know how to do it. Um, he wanted me to observe this stuff, and he did not trust them. Uh, I remember that he wanted from them a certain type of uh, feedback. So they would react exactly accordingly the way he uh, so that he studied so much psychologically the whole thing and demanded this police investigator and this police officer who would act in this crime to respond exactly. They were not the only ones. It was also other police officers. The two police officers that have van parked in front of the police station also were involved in it and they were involved in quite a few crimes also. Those are... Uh, um, response police, like uh, a patrulla, you know, uh, patrolling service. Um, they presented themselves like extremely efficient. So I need to finish with this uh, psychiatrist, Peter Kops. Um He rehearsed this stuff over and over and over with them till, uh, and, have, and told them they have to practice uh, before the crime. Now the mom is here. I have to go out. Uh, what angers me about the Joe Biden the most is that uh, he got American police literally to train Slovenian police on how to create the incident. He did not stop there. It, was, it went on with American police officers. Literally, Joe Biden employed to demonstrate Slovenian police how to provoke reaction from an individual that is exposed to a hostile element. Yeah? And so it was one police officer who was hostile toward me all the time. There was an investigator, and it was another police officer who was really hostile, like visibly hostile, that came out. Uh, and the two cross barked. It's called barking, actually. Uh, they barked uh, with different issues without allowing me to uh, to have the questions either answered uh, and even attempted to tutor me what I stated uh, and made moves that were aggressive and in these moves that were aggressive uh, it was once I got obvious, it became obvious that they are responding in a very aggressive manner 
completely unsuitable, completely inappropriate and criminal manner towards somebody who came at a, at a police station to politely inquire about the police investigation. Uh, my right to fight a police uh, report. Uh, the two started to make threatening moves with the uniformed police officer that went further toward my face once I stood up and I look at him and the other police officer, uh, both already were doing this stuff, but the other police officer already, he was making like, like moves like he's gonna throw himself with me at any time, like he's gonna grab me. I mean, literally for me standing up and looking at police, confronting police officer with the same look he was giving me and asking what is he trying to intimidate me for. This is how I was also explained during MK Ultra. people usually what is known as overreact, overreact, and when people overreact, or I should say give any kind of sign of physical response is when police have the right to act. So it was attempt to get me arrested through the crime which police orchestrated, rehearsed over and over and over, literally with my presence, in my presence, over and over again at the police station, Novo Mesto. Just as I have explained, there's nothing else to explain. There is only to translate audio recording and to give you uh, exactly A, B, and C about who was where, how, this and that. Um, the incident which my niece is husband, Mitya Weber, orchestrated in front of the house. Uh, let me uh, demonstrate this. I, for that matter, I have to go to an uh, area which is, um, yeah, that will be again kitchen. That ain't gonna happen because mom is eating there. So good luck to me with that stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I am gonna use this here and let's see if you can see me enough if you can see me enough uh, to for me to to do this part and you cannot and so what i'm gonna do is let me see where i can be seen inside of this room mm. it's a good video and i don't want to waste one I tell you what, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. He placed both hands on my shoulders. He placed the hand here and he placed hand here by extending his hands, grabbed me for the shoulders. Uh, this stuff was developed by probably some, if I say probably 50 times interacting with me during MK Ultra, I must not be exaggerating. The initial, the primary response, uh, Mitya Weber uh, with the police, with the psychiatrist cops, he was certain of he would get from me is what I was stupid enough to actually even tutor one, teach one. And I uh, tutor one, I teach one that when somebody positioned hands like this, when they, when they grab you for the both shoulders. Uh, I think this is the stuff that was, you know, I, I kind of grew up with in this school where I was. What you would do is you would just go like this with the two hands and uh, squeeze his hands when he is grabbing you by your shoulders uh, with, uh, with your uh, with your arms and just basically push one down right on the floor in front of you. Uh, this is the stuff they were so because I gave them repeated answer on what to do. Yeah, they were questioning me on what to do when you are subjected to this kind of circumstance during MK Ultra. You know, if individual is mentally ill, uh, he probably really becomes obsessed 
with, uh, you know, I don't know, fantasizing maybe about, uh, you know, certain issues uh, on, you know, how to. But here I didn't give a three fuck about. Once I went to the United States of America in uh, 90, the end of the 94, 95, early 95. Uh, my God, ever since I did not even uh, try any kind of uh, uh, martial arts or any kind of boxing or anything like this or uh, any, I, even the physical exercise, I just, I simply uh, totally, totally left behind me absolutely everything once I headed to United States of America, uh, which is probably why I'm still alive, you know. If it wouldn't be that way, I certainly, 100%, I would be dead. But I would definitely be dead because of the types of injuries they continue to inflict on me, uh, and through the poisoning, through the, through the poisoning, through the, also physically, stabbing with the needles um, there is no fucking theory that I would survive because I survived because I got uh, I got sturdy I got fat I was not physically active and I was in a good shape uh, for them that they did enough damage to me uh, to like 2000 and uh, 2000 and, uh, 2002 when I started to get physical again, when I started to do physical exercise again and I lost a lot of weight and I became physical uh, doing exercise, walking, running and stuff. Uh, it was a big fucking mistake because once I lost a lot of weight, it gave them a chance to see just how much damage they have done to it. And it was a fatal mistake. It's when they squeezed even more uh, did even more poisoning, did even more stuff to me, so that left me with what otherwise probably would be completely avoidable. Uh, still somehow, maybe even, you, I could maybe even cure the injuries, you know, injuries. But, um, you know, that's also questionable, you know. It's, it's, it's very difficult to tell. Uh, Prince and King Charles uh, Prince Andrew and uh, King, now King Charles, uh, the two criminals contemplated on throwing me into the psychiatric hospital regardless, regardless of it. They had a plan a long time ago to put me, they told me, even if you will, uh, you know, even if, if you survive this stuff, you will have to go through the psychiatric hospital, which is... Enough about this scum. It's evening time and I want to have a pleasant evening. Uh, this is the whole thing about, also about the crime that concerns my niece, Mitya Weber. I tutored him, I teached him how to grab one if somebody places a new hands. And he also anticipated that when he would do this, that I would overreact, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically going after his, uh, after his, um, after his, uh, you know, twisting him, his, uh, um, I don't know how you say it, hands, uh, ankles and hands, uh, uh, and, you know, pushing him down and so on. And he also exactly the same. They wanted me to overreact during actual attacks already. Yeah? That's what they wanted. They wanted to get response. They wanted to get uh, over response, uh, not a really over response, but they wanted to get response physical enough that would justify uh, their actions against me. Yeah, um, That's what they wanted. Um, you know, they failed in both cases. They did not get through anywhere. And uh, no audio recording is going to go off the internet. None of the audio recording is going to go anywhere. Uh, it, it will be a Slovenian police right here from Novo Mesto. Uh, the state prosecutor in Ljubljana 
who will be summoned to the court before I will get any kind of a notice, anything to appear anywhere due to some audio recordings or anything like this. Definitely will. There is no, there is no, there is no chance that that's not going to happen. That's one thing. And the second thing is, uh, as far as the police station, audio recordings and stuff like this, the police station is going to have to take that off. The police station, either going to, they're going to have to take that stuff off because I'm going to get this sign with the cameras and no recording and that kind of stuff. That shit is going to fly off. It's going to go down. And that's a guarantee I give you. Uh, this shit with this situation that I told you about, uh, at least at the entrance, at least at the lobby area, that stuff is going to have to go down, guys. You have no right to have that stuff. Uh, actually, right now, I am questioning you uh, whether you are even aware of where you have placed the sign, no audio and no video recording. You must take a note that you, however, have uh, even you have certain uh, things on the wall for the people so they could they could uh, they could take a note of it uh, like you uh, you you used to have also and you have I think you still have you have certain something uh, for the people to read therefore you advertise certain things that people of course uh, should have the right to uh, take a photo of it it's not inside of your premises which Absolutely, audio recording should also be allowed. Uh, I'm not going to say at your own discretion, but you would be idiot if you would not video record criminal evidence. If you are dealing with a police crime, you would be crazy. That's one thing. Um, the law, of course, provides for certain crimes that such circumstances are excused. This is going to be my crime, but still I will demand for the police sign uh, uh, to the entrance of the lobby to be removed without any conditions where the people meet police, talk at the front desk about their problems, about their issues, that stuff is going to have to be removed. Yes, I know there are different people who go in there. It could be for the protection of the uh, of the people uh, that uh, that's how they justify me they claim me that this is because to protect people not really because you have that same shit you have that same sign uh, you advise me actually that inside of the building when you go inside of the police building once you enter the police premises is no recording you advise me today about it so uh, not really not at all because if once you go inside that will be you know uh, a different story, right? That would be a different thing. You, you have, uh, I don't know, for the protection of investigators, that's your problem. Get yourself another job if you don't like it. If it's dangerous for you, if it's dangerous for you, um, you can go and you can cook or something, you can do something else, uh, or you can do accounting or whatever you have degree from, whatever it is that you do. Um, well, is there like anything else that I missed here? Um, would I enter the police building after this video again? No. <laughs> what that means? That means that police, normal Mr. Police, is going to be summoned to the court. Um, I'm going to make sure about it. Not before me, but it's my lifeline. I don't have choice, actually. Thanks for watching this video. Extremely disappointed about Americans doing the stuff that really pertain to circumstances uh, in Yugoslavia and such. Uh, in this greater Serbian Chetnik state known as uh, Yugoslavia uh, where really you didn't know whether you're going to come in alive uh, you know whether yeah you could come in alive but question was whether you're going to come how you're going to go out of the police station where it's going to be on two foot whether that's going to be with an ambulance vehicle or maybe even in a plastic bag uh, in Slovenia, you're not going to be doing that stuff no more. That sign is going down. And if the people get proof enough justified that you engage in crime, uh, will absolutely have the right to record throughout the entire police facility. Uh, you should never enter any kind of premises, state premises, whatever, when your question, when your life is in question and the state is committing crime against you, 
where you are not allowed to audio or video record. Actually, audio record is a must. It's a must. Uh, police alone, police bullies involved in this crime, they alone insisted that I must video record them, that I must obtain a, a special kind of permission to video record uh, whenever interacting with the police investigators, etc., etc. I think that shit is too complicated. Court is going to solve that for me.